be surprised if you see Astralis come out the gate swinging. A missed opportunity perhaps on Ancient, but now they've got to put in every single pistol round of this series so far. Yeah, and uh, so what, let's let's keep track. We've had a team kill. We've had one frag out of Snappy, and uh, yeah, that's yeah. It. With the team kill factored in, so we're at we're zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, we're at zero. Yeah. Uh, so here we are. Take. Let's see, Doto. This is your time, perhaps. Ooh to shine with these dual Berettas. This is interesting. They're going rap, but they're setting up a player for the door pop. He's already got down the bend. It's Glaive down lower. Diha just trying to get a couple on ramp. He goes one for one, and Hades is here at hell to try and stop them from getting any further. He's in his home ground. Snappy down on lower already here from the get-go, ready for the take, and Bobski trades. This, this is going to be down to a retake in a few seconds. Mm-hmm. Here are those dual Berettas yeah. arriving on the oh. scene. Spinks gonna steal that one away from the Doolies. That's the bomb plant denied. That's a bit of a disaster. Doto has worked his way in behind the silo in the site. And so he's just hiding, playing around this bomb. Glaive's been Ooh. spotted in the vents as well. Hades just jump peeking that now, faking the door, trying to give the illusion he's retreated back into the site. And the dual Barrettas, while well, they were on top of Hut, now they're up here in the Zantara spot. Mate, this is just as good. This is like the Hut of the B site. So let's see what he's yeah. able to get away with. Yeah, but they're going from range. Glaive going all the way back. Is he going to check this angle? He jumps to that. Is super smart for Glaive. Big brain. Can they hit this shot? They can. Glaive's taken him down. And now the chase for Hades. There's only 15 seconds. Do they ha have time to get the plant? Do they have the cover? So much pressure being put on by Ents. Yeah, Glaive got the bomb. needs to move. They can't go up Vent. Even if they chase that kill, which fails, Bubsky goes oh. down. Glaive has to stick it. But as soon as he's oh, off, he's we. dead. He doesn't even get the plant. Astralis. I mean, they tried to get it down in Old Toxic first, remember? but it was Entz charging into B in the three-on-three three that forced Astralis off of the plant in the first place. It's all pandemonium past that point. And Entz take the pistol. Yeah. All right. It's kind of interesting, man. Astralis, they, they still play as though they're going to receive a lot of respect right there. They let that bomb yeah. go down in the open and no one is peeking. Like, no one is is is, is watching for a push because like, in reality, and if this was Astralis of old, why on earth would you go rushing in like Entz did there? And, you know, that was the case in the Team Spirit game yesterday. It felt like in a lot of those rounds, they were already anticipating that it was yeah. one before it was one. And that so, was only in dust, and I feel yeah. like, they, you know, they got ahead of it. But, yeah, there were, like, multiple rounds that that happened. You know, Dupree with the knife out in the, the 2v1 on B, that 4-on-4 four four retake at the last second on A. Um... I, I, you know, while this eco just gets rolled by Ents, as it should, it's only Glocks. That was a really cool way uh, from Glaive to check the Xantara's position. Back in dark, he jumps up, can't get the kill, but he at least got the spot and confirmed that there was a player down in B still. But Ents 2-0. And I don't mean the series, not yet at least, but just at the start of this map. Astralis now come in with their first full buy. Glaive left with... Uh, oh, he does have utility. Rather, ignore the money. Comes in late, and let's see what they've got cooking. Still a bonus round for Ents. Got to try and get these SMGs up in your face. Hmm. Yeah, all the smokes down outside, these are pretty standard, right? If you've watched Nuke, you've seen these smokes before. If you find yourself going, wait, what are they? Then... <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, it must be your first time. In which case, that's pretty cool. These smokes, they're just going to let you get down secret without anyone seeing you outside. And that's the bomb crossing behind it as well on Majisk. So, looking like, you know, it, it, could, it was maybe destined to be a B play early on. But now that they've Tumbling got secret, back. they're not actually committing down to B. And they're actually looking to retake this outside control late. There's a tag from Hades Scout. Nope, that was just no, insane. Actually, it was Bobski on ramp. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that as well. 50 damage didn't make any sense. No, to that's me what either. I was wondering. I was like, yeah. how did I you just sense do that? the confusion in your voice, Harry? You've got to be fast here. Although this one's nice and slow. Burning their way through the clock. Astralis have a lot of map control here. It's all by design, though. It's giving them a, uh, a, a good bit of space, and they're trying to take elsewhere. Snappy pushing to lobby. Oh, dear, Messi at hell. Snappy gets one, and a dink onto the second. It's a good job, but it might not matter. We need more kills out of Ents. They're dropping lower. Astralis will meet them there. Glaive is low HP, and he is alone right now. He needs his merry men following up behind him. Here they are. Spinks, no way. He's got a gap. How is he living what? right now? 
They are not ready for this position. Bomb That's dropped, the bomb. and he doesn't even burn. Five oh, health, finally the door finished. The bomb as well. 15 seconds, and Hades is still here. Oh, Hades just missing that timing. But they're, well, Lucky's low. Lucky's so low. And there's the bomb plant denied. Hades is just playing for time at this point. He's playing. He's won the round by not fighting. And oh, that's heartbreaking. Lucky looking for an engagement that's never going to get given to him. Three on the board for Entz. That was a bonus round. And what a round it was. So much just happened in such a short space of time. You had the uh, the secret take into the, the outside take, like, you know, the, the rotation back up, then into ramp, then down back to B. Like, you ended up where yeah. you started, in a way, if you're Astralis. And, this, and Entz, you know, they, they kind of seemed unfazed by it. You know, they had the rotations down on B in a very timely manner. Sphinx gets away with that huge kill onto the bomb. I love and how the door up Hades. The door pushes the bomb in. Yeah, right? like, yeah. It, it, the door will move objects. Well, that was why Sphinx was so determined to close the yeah. door and actually, you know, force the bomb into Hades' control. So that, That's just a crazy round, man. And it was all made possible by him surviving in the Molotov. Like, how? Like, how, how does not, he not only survive, but he also, like, steps out to kill Glaive. He takes one yeah. step, and he still survives on five. Hades made God of the Underworld, so yeah. maybe he's, like, blessed his team with the uh, immunity to fire. Yeah. Thanks to the Mothman watching on from the sidelines. Many of them in Counter-Strike today, especially in your pugs. Running through your Molotovs with no fear. Great start, friends. They've got to be feeling very happy right now. I, you know, we've already seen them starting to lean B. Some good reads, right? Not, oh, good shot. Not just Snappy in the pistol round playing dark, but there's Spinks dropping vent with no confirmation that that was ending lower. Just the reads right now out of Ents. Very capable and very experienced nuke team. Now, obviously, Astralis fall into that same pattern, but a newer roster and some kinks to iron out. How do you iron kinks, Harry? I don't know. I guess it depends on how big your kink is. Like, my kink is very small. And here's an A-take that I will talk about. They're in the site. It's a three on three. Popsky's down vent with the bomb. Sphinx is holding for this push. And yeah, the bomb's gone down to B. See okay, ya. that's at least a guaranteed plot. Oh, that's all it might be. Yeah, sadly, that, that really might be the only thing you get out of this round now. What was a three on three is now a 1v3 for Bobsky. He's waiting in the vent. Oh. <laughs> He's been spotted. And now they know he's here. Those two guys at ramp are just going to barrel into the site with a very, very alarming pace. Bubski, it's it's going to be hard press for him to do much here. Oh. And Snappy makes it happen. Enter up onto four. And they're continuing. There's this hot looking squad, man. They're looking real good. Ancient was nice. Now that they meet Astralis on Astralis's map pick, they're keeping it going, Hugo. Mm, you may have looked at this series and gone, yep, yeah, nice quick 2 0. And hell, maybe you're right. This is uh, a really good game out of Ents right now. Definitely one of the dark horses of the group. We have a few teams right here in Pro League where, where we don't really know where to place them right now. And Ents certainly one of them already starting to answer questions. It was competitive against Vitality. And if anything, this makes Vitality look even better, right? The fact that you know, Ents were able to you know, fight them tooth and nail, take them to 30 rounds on Mirage. Still falling there, they're still getting too owed. And now Astralis. Getting worse for wear. Snappy is again down lower, anticipating this to end B. No real information just yet. It's a late smoke outside take here for Astralis. Lining up utility. We even have two players leaning lower. Hades checks down below on the ramp, but he's still orbing. And you know, really, when you're up against Astralis, there's not always a big reason to play that AWP outside because Astralis aren't going to give you free kills in yard. They're often just going to run smokes. And so that kind of negates an AWP. Hades will use it elsewhere for now. It also means he can drop down lower in the event of event take. This is a fake, though. Back into A for Astralis as Glaive walks through the main smoke and no one is wiser. That's a kill for Doto. And now the alarm bell's ringing. Yeah, the heads have started to piece together exactly what's oh. happening. Diha in through main, moving into that position okay. that Glaive had just cleared. 
Snappy killing folks through smokes and Doto there to put five on the board for Ents. This mm. Ents squad are looking very excited. Man, they, they've got really good reads, right? Even though they don't know that's an A tank, Doto's watching made. On top of that, I think the thing that actually gives it away for Ents, and we tell that from Snappy's position, is when Astralis throw those outside smokes, they follow up with a secret Molotov. Now, you don't often molly secret after your smokes are down if you're going down secret, because it just cuts off the time that you have, right? A molly is half the length of a smoke. And as soon as that molly fades, Snappy re-aggresses up secret and flanks Astralis, even gets a main, uh, main smoke spam kill. Just great awareness out of Ents. Yeah. The calling is there, the reads are there, and the shots as well. Hades needs to hit his. His pistols are starting to prove problematic. Oh, yeah. No, hang on a moment. I was going to say, nah, mate, it should be fine. Maybe should he be. is going to bail them out, but... You know, a two on two, it's certainly not comfortable. Astralis, when they play like I've got nothing to lose, they're a lot faster. They might look to put their first on the board. Can they get past Hades? They want the they gun. Smoke him. Weapon picked up for Dupree. Oh, every time I see him walking near that smoke, I'm getting scared. They start to go down towards lower. This is where Deha waits, and he's just been sat behind Silo patiently. Oh, Lucky's going to take his head off with the Deeg. And there were two poles trying to hold up this round for Ents. Now there's just one. Can Hades be that stabilizing player? Can he be the one to save this round? This. This pistol round from Astralis that looks to come in as their first on the board. I don't want to give a caveat. I don't want to give an excuse. It's a good round out of Astralis. Really nice entries on ramp to start it. But uh, but Ents did right in in uh, in the GoTV chat that just team speak. So I think their communication may have gone down in that round at some point in that two on two. No confirmation. We'll see if there's a pause or maybe they've already fixed things back up. But yeah, nice uh, nice round to catch you off guard if you're Astralis there. Fast out ramp, deadly digs out of Dupree and Co. And they're going to get it under wraps. Save on the Yorp, still plenty of money for Ents to continue rebuying. But as far as have got on the board, better late than never. Yeah, great digging out of Lucky. Right, AWP is often are pretty keen with that weapon, but Lucky is already showing time and time again that in many a situation where he has an AWP and a Deagle, he actually leans onto the Deagle. He seems to love that gun. Yeah, he had a 50 1v1 as well yesterday against Dexter. Yeah, he just seems very, very comfortable with all yeah. the pistols. Uh, such is an AWP, always the way. Quick couple of kills for Ents in this round. They push through the outside smokes. They, again, like you, you talk about respecting Astralis. I feel like when you do get back to not only this roster, but also the fact that it's online, yeah, they get a lot less respect. You know, that's a crazy play, and it works out for a double kill. Snappy has given us another on the ramp. Any more? Yes, indeed. And the bomb dropped. Snappy has done his job. Lucky in a clutch. He's found a couple of kills. He's on for the ace, but pushed in deep. Sphinx has made a perfect play. And Lucky, surely not going to be checking this one. He has so many corners to clear. And the door as yeah, well. Out, but yeah, yeah, not ready for a, for a deep player. And, you know, that's another example of, like, Sphinx just doing a good job in terms of knowing the fullback would be, you know, in through lobby, maybe look for a pick towards A, and the one place you're never going to be concerned about is someone, you know, deep walking T-spawn. Ents seem really, really good at like planning for a round win a few steps in advance, right? It's not like a super reactive. They're very, very proactive in how they approach these rounds. So back to the drawing board for Astralis. Not an AWP in sight for the Danes either. Hades has still got his. He's dropping down vent early. Oh. That's because these outside smokes have gone in. Yeah, an orb down secret as well. Very hard to get past. That's if Astralis want it, right? Again, they're, they're throwing in fakes. They get these smokes in, they play behind them. Then at the last second, they creepy crawl their way to main and garage. It's going to be the Heaven Wrapped. Eho wants to spot it. He does get the information. Not risking his life for a fight. Instead, he goes out lower. And oh, they're very close to Eho. He knows. He gets one. They're already climbing up on the outside, though. Hell player now moved in from ramp. Eho. Just trying to stop them from setting up this split, but Astralis are coming whether you like it or not. One and two for Dupree, and the A-side is open for business. He's got all of them. Bye-bye, Ents. 
This is an Astralis round, whether you like it or not. Yeah, beautiful work out of Dupree, man. We, we, we needed a hero to step up. Dup Dup could be that guy. Astralis are on to a second, and it's pretty clean as well. That's going to come in handy for keeping this uh, this T-side with a bit of longevity behind it. You know, stamina, endurance. Yeah, all important. It's about how long you know you can keep it up for, not just... Uh, not just what, Harry? Uh, how fast you can go? Yeah, how fast you can go, right. Sure. Some even say slow and steady wins the race. Mm. It does, that's the old prophecy. Uh, yeah, prophecy, that's the wrong word. Um, saying. Saying. Story. Yeah. Would you say you were more of a tortoise or a hare, Harry? Depends what we're talking about. Okay, Depends yeah. on the Context situation. Context is everything. Context right? is yeah. everything. Um, yeah, we can leave it at that. I think, you know, I'd say more turtle out of the three. <laughs> Turtles are pretty cool. I thought you hated the ocean. Yeah, but if I was a turtle, I'd be suited to the ocean. And then I'd hate land. Yeah, you'd have like a, you know, a shield. Yeah. Armor, as it were. <laughs> Tiger sharks don't care about your armor, though. They'll eat turtles whole. And Diha takes a chump out of Glaive. Quick kill outside. Astralis wanted to hit upper with that main lurk. And Glaive oh, got that in for Doto. He's still going to be able to drop the smoke, but they don't want to go down the vent. Oh, the spam will do instead for Dupree. You said he could be the hero. And once again, he steps up to the plate. Four on four. Options open now. Back to ramp they go. Hades yet to die. And Snappy by his side. Oh, man. Yeah, this double hold at ramp. That, that's so problematic. The bomb is dropped out in the open. Oh, this orb. It owns the ramp room for Lucky. He's in a one on four. He has just under a minute left. And he's on a big outside wrap. Oh. Well, that's pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, with Diha waking up as well, he wasn't really, you know, super apparent individually in the last map. We didn't need to be right. Hades and uh, and Sphinx were taking so much of the glory away. Dota as well with his entries on that T side towards B. But now D is having a great game as well. And it gets scarier for Astralis. Second by second. Course, That's yeah. why we drop it from the word. And so you don't have like that, that, that kind of light at the end of the tunnel and you go, oh, well, at least this worked. We can apply some pressure here. Yeah. You know, even like the ramp takes that have worked out for them. A lot of the times it's come off the back of like Ents over facing one player stepping up massively. There was that he heaven lurk for Dupree. But Ents are the ones kind of setting the bar right now and Astralis are having to very much play their game. Oh, the door boost we see. These are always this, yeah. filthy, bro. Sometimes Orpers even go up here as well, over the vent on the head of their teammate. Oh, there's a bit of a gap, but not enough for Diha to do anything. He has to move through and he catches a good time in killing the rifle. They'll pick it right back up and get a second as well. Sphinx in the lobby. He's got a smoke if he wants to trap them in radio. Snappy's got them locked in on the other side. Can't afford to die. That's, That's the bomb. And uh, no trade. Finally, Bubsky gets it. Thank goodness for that. He's crafted a path down towards B. He gets spammed. But luckily, he's out of dodge, smoking his retreat. He could charge it. It would be a bit ballsy. And Glaive is here to make sure that they don't get away with that. Right now, it's uh, an inverse round. Players have traded positions. A belongs to the T's and Lobby to the CT's. And Glaive, with that picked up gun from D, his dead body, is doing the work. Majisk with another denies Hades rotation up vent and Doto in a one on three. Give it a go. Why not? Oh. 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 Yeah. The AK oh, sees the leg, but Bobski swinging ahead is going to lock it in. They're always trying to show us all the lineups he knows there for the yeah. Hunts fam. It does end up on the receiving end of Bubski. Nice stuff there from Bubski, right? He's very much one of the, the one of the key parts of that round in the sense that he kind of saves it, right? The bomb was lost at ramp, if you remember. He gets that important trade. He's able to elude capture on the lobby push. Ooh, weird detail. Glaive missed boy. He just bought a P90 and then dropped it and, and got an AK instead. So that's, you know, that's an expensive wastage. 
Like, it might not matter, but, you know, at this point in the game, you need every dollar you can salvage. Times are tough in the current economy. Oh, not for Hades, though. He's reaping rewards, picking up a smoke shot to Glaive. How do you like that now? Vengeance is sweet. Astralis meander their way down lower, but it's not going to get any easier. D has already here. One of those two M4s in play in this round. He's not got grenades to stop them, and we're going to have a boost up to try and check down deep. Majisk needs to be pinpoint. And D has ducked in the corner. He's not giving him anything. Pokes his head out, and Maj is still aware, even though he just cleared it. That's a massive kill. Astralis now OB, and they even follow up as well. This round should be theirs. Got to lurk on the roof. Bubski just keeping up pressure, and Hades tagged down low as the bomb pump comes in. I don't know how Doto's still alive. Uh, <laughs> Bubski just died uh, in his own Molotov. Okay. And Sphinx is saving. So this was like a real mixed bag, we'll call it, at the end of that <laughs> round there, right? Uh, still, it's Astralis up onto four. Where was the molly? Did he throw it under ladder? Or did he? Was it full damage? Do you know it was a molly? No, I, I saw him throw I have a molly. No clue, mate. He I have a molly. no clue what just happened. He to was Bobsky. here. He did throw a molly. I'm pretty sure. So that sounds right, but it might have been full damage. I don't know. Can, we, can we find this body? Yeah. Can we locate it? Then we might be able to. You know, then we're like detectives. detectives yeah. yeah, like we've shown up. This Short is the crime, crime scene, scene right? Scene, yeah. So. This is our timeline of events and what we think happened. And exactly 20 seconds left, he lit the Molotov. He's got charred bones down on the B-bomb side. There are millions of charred bones. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them belonging there, to Bob's. There are more charred bones in our universe than there are grains of sand on the beach. <laughs> Shout out Brian Cox one time. Here we go. Astralis have got four. I know he's watching, by the way. Yeah, he yeah, he's big right yeah. And now there's no money, Hugo Fritz. Yes. No money. That's yes. actually such a big Woo. sigh of relief for the Danes. Yeah, this T-side is now opened up massively for Astralis, right? It, it felt like it was never going to happen with so many full buys out events coming in clean. But a couple of rifle rounds, and now look at your reward. A bit of a freebie. The one rifle is the only threat, and Spinks putting it to use. Finding a kill, but he can't get out alive. Lucky trades with the orb. He may pick up the gun. Snappy, no way. Only gets a second. Lucky, he's getting hunted for the orb now. They want the bounty. And oh, missed shot. Now they're really well armed. Now they've got three rifles. Watch out, Astralis. They're coming. Yeah, oh, and they're coming fast. You better believe it. It's coming back to him. Here they are. Triple okay. set up over at Wrath. They're moving in. Magisk, he's got the bomb down. He's out of there. He doesn't want to hang around in this site. And who can't blame him? All three for Ents moving in through Wrath. They're taking their time. They've got to clear all these close angles. But now they see there's no one oh. here. They're homed in on the double doors. Hades with this orb. They worked hard to get it out of Lucky's hands. Now, what is he going to be able to do with it? Oh. Both players for Astralis just not facing. Eventually, you've got to get wow. on this bomb, and in tandem, both kills come through. Glaive and Magisk, they play that to perfection in the two-on-three. They don't give you a fight until the exact moment that they do, and suddenly you get all the fights. Yeah, like I, that's crazy as well. I wonder how, how they even timed that. It's not like, uh, I think it was Magisk and single. It's not like he even opened his door. He was just backed up. Uh, both doors swung at the same second, uh, and well, both kills come through for Astralis. They needed that, man. They couldn't get eco'd. Like, that was one saved AK in a, a flat USP buy. So it had to happen for Astralis. And even though it was costly, the result is there. Smoke on the Molotov. Deha moving in outside behind the red box. Now, they know he should be here. They hear that smoke blue. Majisk. Lovely shot. Taking down Deha outside. It ends with getting away with these kind of yeah. plays early in the half. Now it's no longer working. You can feel that as this game has gone on, guys. Uh, really, I'm looking at like the the old three of Astralis. I'm talking about Dupree, Glaive, and Magisk. They've started to look a lot more comfortable, and that's oh. that's a real sigh of relief for me, right? It, 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 thus far, it's been a lot of like Lucky and Bubsky trying to do what they can. I want to be able to look at like the the three tried, tested, tenured veterans of this squad and know that they can they can keep the wins rolling in. We're getting a lot better performance out of the three of them. Yeah, but just just made the dangerous walk through lobby in a mid round. You know how scary that can get with some of the pushes we've seen from Spinks. This is a lineup. Doto, if it's a toxic plant, he has got the spam for it. We'll see if it comes to use or not because he is still getting lurked on. 
Spix has taken lobby. This is inconsequential at this point in the round. Too late to stop the bomb from going down. Dota, will he get back to his spot? Will it even matter? It's a safe plan. Doesn't affect. Bomb has been planted. And now the retake, if you even want to go for it. No kit. But everyone's here. Temptation. Bobski's getting tickled. But time is the real enemy events here. They, they take it real, like a real long while to decide whether or not they want to go for this. So the kills have got to be quick and they're not. Lucky and Magis, they got that crossfire set up. I, I think Kent's got kind of caught between two minds yeah. there, right? I, also, it's like they're all there and they're going, well, it's a three on three. Like we could do it, but. Do we want to? And then, and then you know, they, they do a little bit of damage because they kind of get interested and they go, all right, boys, let's try a late round retake. Well, mm. with the AWP set up at ramp, with Magisk up on the silo, with that crossfire set up, it was always going to be tricky. And leaving yourself with only, you know, 20 seconds to actually get in, just not enough time. And in past post plants on B, Astralis have played secret, right? They played double, they played single. Right there, that's not the case. And spend a lot of time clearing radio and the double door. And at that point, they realize, ah, we've taken so long looking for these picks back into the bomb site and everyone for Astralis is either ramp or in or, or in, in B rather. So yeah, we, we've just not got these kills. They, they throw themselves through the doors, but they were already shut and just didn't know. Just Eagles. Dota having a bit of a slow one today. He had a great game last map. Maybe the T side is where he's going to wake up once he has that AK-47. And it's not like he's, you know, having uh, having an easy game about it, right? Like lots of avoidance for Astralis, lots of fakes. It's a typical T side on Nuke for them. The outside smokes, and then the doubling back out up. And now you got to be careful. Two players on either side here. The bomb is B, and that's a great clear from Glade, but he's not ready for Diva. Oh, another Deagle. That could have been everything for Ents. Instead, it's Astralis controlling lower, but just won't commit on his own. And Bubsky's taking a top pick, bringing the bomb back. Majisk is always running it solo with this bomb but he's yet to be punished for that play. I mean, he had no other option. Glaive dead, and the round over. This was a strong start for Entz, and we've already forgotten what that felt like. And mate, Lucky was topping the charts for Astralis back on Ancient. He's top of the board again here and now, nice. right? He is, uh, he's looking good today. Yeah, that's exactly what we want out of him. It, it, it's a little bit weird, because it's like, Really, if I was ever going to sit here and be like, yeah, I want a bit more out of someone, I kind of would have rather it be lucky than me, like, looking at the uh, the old faces on Astralis. But hell, as mentioned, you know, they are starting to warm back into it. I think if you could get, you know, either Magisk or Dupree to kind of relive some of what we had out of them yesterday, you might be on for a big comeback here if you're Astralis. Yeah, winning the half would be the cherry on top. Oh, okay, Sphinx, where was that from? Did, did he go up the ladder? Where, what? Oh, oh my he's goodness, he's on the T-Roo. He's oh, pushed the lobby, this he's had mad enough. man. He's like, well, look, screw it. If Astralis want to start playing <laughs> their fancy Counter-Strike, I'm just going to run at them. Oh, quick switch, that should have been a shot for Hades. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Glaive Town low anyway. Diha really wants to finish this kill, and Bubsky's come in to provide cover. Weird round right now, but one where Ents just can't can't lose it. Yeah, yeah. no, I, it would be impressive to lose this round. Like with all the map <laughs> control you have, Bobski has got this as safety. Like, and oh, safety is a bit of a an incorrect terminology. Yeah. Here. You are the furthest thing from safe. They can be in any corner. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, the spam as well. Yeah, yeah, it's spooky. It's like a hot and then died back. immediately. So Dupree, this is it. Are we going to get the incredible dot dot with the doolies, or is it going to be Dupree? Let's see. Here he is, <laughs> up on top of the hut. Uh -oh. Come on, big Dupree. He's got the doolies in the oh hut. My God. They don't know about him. Now he's out in the open and yeah. dead after zero. Dupree still stands at minus one with the dual Berettas. I'm not saying I, I like watching Dupree die with the doolies, but I'm just kind of glad that they're not doing anything it's 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 uh it's therapeutic to me at this point retakes not happening look at the health the gooshes are in i feel like there was a jump shot from the glock as well i can't even tell too many bullets coming from too many directions and now everyone dead except glaive it's all about to happen and so ents lock in a pistol round lovely stuff and okay the redemption arc for astralis well might be short-lived if ents is t-side can get rare and to go remember doto back on Ancient on that T side was a beast at entrying. He's gone very cold here, gone very quiet, but now, arm to the teeth, maybe he can pick up the pieces.
That being said, I feel like this is the most dangerous map in the game for a CT4 spy to find success. Yeah. Lots of avenues. Why of is that, Hugo? Give me your opinions. Right, uh, close positions, you know, in, in everywhere. A and B, secret. You've got scouts outside often. Astralis, you know, they love a scout. But lobby pushes a frequent. I, I, I just think this is a good map for forces. You know, you see maps like Dust2, it doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. Maps like Nuke, maps like... Mirage? No, don't worry, Hugh. I fully agree with you. I yeah. just, you know, I find listening to your words to be quite nice. You're not the only one, Harry. Could have returned a compliment, but it's fine. We'll yeah. work on that. Uh, couple's counselling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have that meeting with the therapist at the end of the week, Hugo. <laughs> and I'm counting down the days. Dupree, he's mollied out, but look at this. They Ooh, didn't see. They, they got flashed. Uh -oh, and now they learn trapped. about him. Yeah, now he's a dead man walking. Man, advantage taken. Hades extends it even further. The A site belongs okay. to end. Nice flick. Yeah, that was crazy. No fun. ammo for it, though. Pure guttural reaction. Majiska looking to take a gun with him. We would love to find an AK, but the roaming Mac 10s will make that very difficult. He up. And Majiska does deal death, but going to spawn. Seen ahead. Scout out now. Oh, and he can't do it. No armor, so tagged down by the AK and Ents win the round, as they really should, as you hope they would. But we've been waiting for that buy round for Astralis. We'll have to wait longer. Uno Mass. One more eco. Yeah, Astralis in these uh, in these Alico rounds, you know, normally they're pretty keen to just go fight you. <laughs> You know, like, they just make it as chaotic as you can because, like, maybe, maybe you win. And if you don't win, well, it's not your problem anymore. Harry, so get that screen ready. Dupree's got a Zeus. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay. Now you know it's a fake as well. That's the best part about this for Glaive. The full smokes won't do anything. And, in fact, Ents, if they ran into ramp, they'd run into a stack. Instead, they go A, and it's free real estate. Yeah, they're going in. They're uncontested over in this a bomb site but hell man if you're astralis you're gonna you're gonna try and milk this for all it's worth you know even taking guns away is super valuable yeah firmly grasp that teat and give it a yank that's how you get the milk harry that it yeah no undisputable actually there they go <laughs> dropping on in oh there's one out of the mac 10 that should be the extent of the damage just lucky left. He'll take Ooh. one more with him. And Not yeah, bad. that's actually a great eco here. Oh, imagine that. If it was an AK, man, if it was an AK, would have been another. But a good eco. Yeah, Astralis, they buy a Zeus in that round and they get three kills from it. Well, not from the Zeus, but from the round. 11 7, though. This is buy time. And this is try time for Astralis as they. Got to get on the board early. Double orb to do it. I'm never against this. And Harry, we continue to see more players pick up the orb out of the gate, right? Obviously lucky to take the first, but you know, Magisk on it now. We've seen, yeah, everyone really don this AWP from time to time inside of Astralis. And I'm not against it. We've seen everyone look capable. So what is the game plan? Wave ready with utility outside, ready to smoke a mol oh, Molotov, Molotov onto a smoke You're to right. stop <laughs> a smoke blooming on the cross. Yeah. Yeah, I think I understood that. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Lucky down here in secret. It's his little secret. And, ooh, I don't know about him yet. But he's uh, ready and waiting for this exact contingency. Right now, he's holding for a silo swing. When he goes up and over to try and peek this red box, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this fight. It could decide a hell of a lot in this oh, round. Lucky so has weird. been good on the orb so far. But look at this from Ents, bro. They're like statues. So aware. Oh, nice trade. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of get to see how immediate that was because we get it for like both reactions, mate. Lucky gets one. You couldn't have really asked for more out of the guy. He's traded immediately by Snappy. They spot Glaive in the vent and Doto drops down from the A-bomb site to deal with him. His lower take is now in full swing and Magisk is the only guy that can stop it. Back in lobby, Hades is holding for a flank, but somehow Dupree's gotten past him. Ooh. The timing's just been missed there. But I think Astralis are probably just saving. Yeah, Magis would love that kill on the cross, but they just smoked it and planted in the smoke rather than going behind the silo. 
That's a weird round as well. Dota, good uh, good little lurk from him as well. He gets out behind the vent, and he actually hears Glaive drop down. He calls it over. That's why Ents were aware of Glaive and Vent. And then as Glaive is stalling them out, Dota sneaks through the smoke and stabs him in the back. So Glaive could, could never get away with that lower rotation and left in a three on four. Even with a missed shot from Hades, Astralis, they cut their losses. And the losses, Harry, they are building. 12 up on the Ents scoreboard. Great shot from Snappy. He's had a hell of a recovery. Let's talk about that, right? Like we said last game, yeah, you know, uh, Ents are winning. Snappy's got five kills. It doesn't matter. He's leading. He's looking good. Man, he is performing individually. On ramp on that CT side was locking it down alongside Hades many, many rounds. And uh, and now on the T side as well, getting a shot like that, taking down the AWPA. Pinpoint, you love to see it. 12 to 7, another double AWP. Astralis' save is... At least they're going to enable a buy. And they're about to get dealt an oh. A push, like oh, an A rush. One Deha, one bullet glaive out as he's burning alive. Gross. He's slowed down. That, that shouldn't have... That, 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 get him oh, out. The A bomb site's open, mate. Ents have got it. They won the round right there. And then I, I am lost for <gasps> words. Line up. L lucky. Oh, do it. Oh, oh what? <laughs> <laughs> he even let him plant. He gave him a second. Bro, Lucky's like channeling. It's like, I, this round has just been the wildest <laughs> ride. Just the biggest roller coaster. CS is a drug. Oh. And I'm hooked up to a drip right now. Oh, Mate. my goodness. What was this? I still can't get over the Diha one tap. He's yeah. naded. He's burning in a Molotov. He's like, and he's getting spammed. So he's slowed down. To, <laughs> like, he's moving at like 2% of his full potential. And he's crawling his way through. And he's like, right, I have about a millisecond left to do anything. <laughs> like One tap. One bullet to glaive out. And then they just spill in on the back of yeah. it. Oh, beautiful. What Great stuff round. from Lucky as well. I don't yeah. know what that was. He's like building up the... Yeah, the courage to it. make it happen. He's like, <laughs> and then just nails it. Yeah. Oh. It's a shame as well, because that was a, you know, he made it a three on three, I think. If he gets that, you know, if he gets this kill before the bomb part comes in, I guess he waits for the audio and he's like, oh, bomb's, bomb's down. Okay, now I take the shot. He didn't know, right? If he gets that shot off, suddenly bomb's loose, three on three. You get to wait out the molly in heaven, the smoke in main, and maybe there's a chance, but Astralis, they, they know even with that. Yeah, they've got that double orb set up still to fall back on. Right, they saved them again. Another A take. Uh, just another one of these fast A rushes. Hell, let's Ten see. Yeah, Sphinx is bought down low. Oh. They're vent dropping. They change their mind. They go, all right, boys. Bye. They drop down into B, and now they're looking for a plant. They do lose both Sphinx and Hades over on that top site. Now planted Dodo trying to take ramp. This is going to be a point of rotation for Astralis, so he's got to be ready for a fight. He is going to get one hell of a fight pretty much immediately. This round is rapidly getting out of hand for Ents. They've tried to make the best out of a bad situation, but it is just Dodo. The lineup was almost there, but Magisk a little too quick. You know, if you take a swing at the king, you can't miss, as the old saying goes. He turns on a dime. He locks in that round, and Astralis is still in this one. Absolutely. Uh, they had to win that to, to you know, force that statement out of you, Harry. But they've done it, and they've done it clean, keeping their money intact. Good shot out of Magisk. And nice hold on that A site as well, right, Dupree. Getting rid of that top play. Two players immediately dead as Ents get down the vent, so the plant is really all they have to be thankful about in the round. Another rebuy coming in. Another orb for Hades. But losing rounds of util is just full out for Astralis. They have everything. You know, Molly's on all yeah. five. So you don't want to keep rushing. And, you know, we've seen, okay, yeah, sure, we had that one tap for Diha. That's not replicatable. Um, so, yeah, slow it down. Let, let Astralis burn some utility. And a lot of it has gone out. Quick vent dive over Sphinx. And the funny part about it is that flash was so well timed. Bobski has no clue. He may call. Hey, they could be vent. They could be vent. But I don't think Astralis are aware of how fast he got down. And they still go out upper. Come on, Ents. Give them a break. Sphinx was about to kill Magis down lower. Forget it. It's not yeah. needed. You've got the A side. Yeah, mate, I guess we were wrong about the idea of, like, you know, taking it slower. Well, they just wait the out the molly and yeah. then they explode. Yeah. Simple as. A little slower than normal, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's just still a delayed a train, mate, by a couple of minutes. Oh. Like, and I was, I, you know, right before that A play came in, Magis was dead. He was not considering Sphinx in, in vent. 
There was no way, because the smoke missed as well. The smoke didn't even cover vents. So Bubsky, if you see a smoke that's covering vent, you can call like, yeah, I actually don't know. But Bubsky, even though he was flashed for a micro moment, a millisecond. So why would he be aware of that vent drop? Magis, that's awkward. Couple of missed shots. Don't know how the first one did not connect. Shaking on the ladder is Doto. Shaking in his sleep is Majisk. Lucky gets an exit, but it won't change a thing. 14-8, this could be the beginning of the end for Astralis. Or in fact, just the end. Yeah, something else as well I think you've got to give some credit to is like when they're going for these A-rushes, everyone is room for it here. It's now or never, do or die. 14-8, and the final buy. And now a completely different round. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of like having so many of these fast rounds is, you know, you've really conditioned Astralis to throw all this util out, to have to use it early to stop these rushes. Now, you've lost D here outside. This is going to trigger a bit of a response in towards ramp. Yeah, I mean, the rotates are still good. Astralis is still a, a very de dependable new CT side team. You know, they get the kill, they give it up. You can see them already starting to adjust, drop down lower, enforce that B bomb site. Make sure they're ready for this double back to A because really that's all Ants have shown us. Top site hits and this round is no exception. Glaive is here in time. Dupree behind the site. Dupree needs a multi-kill in this round or Astralis is going to be very hard pressed to get back in. Ants are in no hurry though this time. They're re-smoked, they're waiting it. And they're even moving Hades outside. Will he commit? Or is, no, he's just selling a fake. Throws a flash, draws some attention over. But no one's moving a muscle. Astralis have got the read right now. Yeah, here comes this A utility once again. That's the bomb cut down. Sphinx leading the charge with the bomb in hand. So now Astralis are going to start Goodness. to pull players over. The bomb's been retrieved. Look at the vent <laughs> rotate from Bobski. He just right. barrels up the vent and shoots them in the back. Doto left in this one, a 1v5 when this began, a 1v4 rather, now 1v3. Has the bomb fallen yeah, down vent as well? Yeah, it did. Yeah. did, that's pretty brutal. So yeah, he was screwed. Uh, <laughs> Astralis, they do grab a ninth. They're finally able to quell one of these A plays as well. Obviously, it helps that Lucky gets that opener to begin the round for Astralis. And that's just something that's kind of been missing. When, when you've had these yeah. like fast A plays, you haven't really had a chance of, you know, securing an opener, forcing Ents to slow it down a bit and look for solutions. That's really where Astralis do their best work. So I think, you know, if Ents are going to try and take this outside control, they need to be very wary of Lucky and the rest of the Whoa. boys here. Because this is where we're going to see Astralis try to secure these openers. I like that play for Majisk, right? It, it looks a bit messy. He doesn't get more than one, but Dink onto Hades and it, it's showing that Astralis are starting to feel it again. They're starting to have a bit, have a bit more faith, throwing themselves into gunfights. Magis gets one. Hades low. Glaive in secret with, I'm sure, a myriad of one ways that he can throw in. There's another playing on top of the railing. But you see a smoke in secret, you know what to expect. Snappy is boosted up and looking for a kill out. He's been spamming the smoke, looking for legs. And Glaive will leg it. Back down to B, he goes. He can always rotate back up vent as well. He's faking door. It's going to keep Ents' attention as they try and once again look out A. Oh, Bubski. Oh. And Dupree, they're holding nice. down door, they're not letting you in. And yeah, it's another go at repelling the A offensive. It's getting a lot more dominant now, Ents. You can't keep going back to this. It's not yeah. working as well as it used to. Glaive was so aware. He he literally faked the door, came up vent, dropped the molly in squeaky. Like, you know, that was a two-man A-hole, but really it was a yeah. three-man A-hole. And actually, <laughs> you guys just realized something. Yeah. One of the times we played against Eha was on Nuke, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as, as a main player, I can tell you that he is despicable is he getting out you? through the door. Yeah, of course he yeah, was. I mean, no surprise. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it feels rough <laughs> in this position. <laughs> Ooh, okay. But these they will do. All do it, yeah. Not Deha, but Doto this time around. Deha has leapt down oh from main goodness. and grabbed the M4. They Look know. at him. Yeah, they know all about it. Dupree dinked. gets dinked, but is able to survive that one. 
And so Astralis are looking for 11. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it at 14-8, but now the winds have changed. The tides have turned, and the rounds are starting to stack up big. Magist knows they could be behind him, but he seems pretty sure that they are. In fact, he's right now. It's not connect. Sphinx is shooting into walls, and Magis ready to close the round. Easy stuff on the ramp room. Gives that 11th over. Only a bit of a broken by for Ents, and this round won't be a lot better, at least for Sphinx. They've got AKs otherwise. And so it ends. Okay, now we see the depth. Now we see Snappy's tactical depth on this T side because really, like, while I've loved these A executes and yeah. the pace and the protocols and who's looking where and the flashes that come through and some of the ideas, really, they have just been all of the same variety on this top side. We need to see smokes outside. We need to see ramp yeah. takes. We need variety. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to feel like a, like a one-trick pony, yeah. right? Like, if you had a horse that could wear a top hat and dance, that's that's sick, but it gets old quick, right? Whereas, if you have a horse that can like, you know, is a is a mixologist, is a is a professor at law, you yeah. know, like that, that's way a more impressive. Horse. Yeah, man, yeah. you look at that and you go, all right, now you've got my attention. So let's see who's got more horsepower whoa, here. Whoa, and fast down a B. That's more like it. Diha again with the taps, and Doto's found another. Forget everything I just said. The horsepower's out. Snappy getting that bomb down. And they are roaring towards oh, a finish line. Lucky dirt. attempting to respond, but Diha up close. Beasting has annihilated this round. Paul that he's oh. in with the double. Diha taking heads off. He's collecting those Astralis scalps. He wants those Astralis scalps. <laughs> so there he is, up onto 50. It's a personal debt that Ents have made upon him. And he will collect. Oh my goodness, Dupree. He's getting lurked on right now. He does walk the smoke, but Dota's coming up and he won't be needed. Hades does it on his own. Lovely round out of Diha. Just the pace. I thought he was going to push that Molly on ramp, but he is a little more contained and still he unleashes hell upon Astralis. 15 to 8. And that's more like it, right? A different pace, a different round. What an opener here in secret. Magisk was jump spotting. That looks crazy, but it's a fairly safe play. A fairly safe way to get the information. I was going to say without dying, but, well, sometimes... He here delivers, and that is a perfect round from him. 15, one more, four chances to do it. Can they? Oh, oh. that's weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, get me out. Is messy. Get me I don't out. Like it. I want to get off, but Mr. Yes. is wild ride. What's happening? Diha, oh, doubling down. He's taking matters back into his own hands. This is absolute chaos. This is... This is... Uh, it's ugly, but it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen at the same time. Diha, he's given this three on three over. A lot of weird <laughs> little abnormalities yeah. towards outside to open this round up. And now everything's looking odd, right? You've got this outside control, but look, Dota's all the way back in T-spawn with the bomb. Like he, he's a long way away from the rest of the gang. So I'm imagining, you know, you're looking for an A play here, maybe a split through main, him looking to come in through door. Right now, Astralis have only got one player in this A bomb site, so all our eyes are on Dupree. Yeah, it feels tempting to try and wrap Hell here, but you know Astralis is just so cognizant. Like, they've played this map a million times. They know what the timings are like to get to that position, and so Ents make the really good call of full grouping together, and I like that. Splitting up in a three-on-three -three against Astralis on this map is dangerous, and so they'll come to you instead. Dupree, you said you needed something from him. Well, he'll give us the goods. And coming in through lobby is uh, someone to help out as well, but just trying to backstab Diha. Dihu? Oh my goodness. Turns around on a dime and hits the headshot. It's all on Lucky. We've said he's had a couple of clutches so far for this team, but this has to be one on the brink of defeat. May D has decided, though, he wants this over and done with. He wants this finish now. These last two rounds have really come off the back of this guy. He's got three in the round already. He's looking to close it out for Ents, and there it is. Diha.